Wow. Without a doubt, autumn has got to be one of the most gorgeous times of the year with leaves changing color all over the place. But why do some trees lose the leaves and others don't? What causes this color change and what's the role it plays within the broader ecosystem? Well, let's get into it. For starters, how come some trees lose the leaves in the fall and others don't? Well, this basically comes down to two different adaptive strategies that helps each species survive based on the location and environment that they grow in. So for example, on one hand you have conifer trees like that western hemlock behind me there, which tend to have really short needle-like leaves that are highly waxy, highly durable, and able to withstand a wide range in temperatures and elements, which means that they can stay on the tree year-round, photosynthesize year-round, and allow these trees to grow and thrive in environments um, that are really harsh, you know, with harsh winters like high alpine environments or further up north. But these needles are also really energy intensive and expensive to create, so the trees don't want to drop them every year. You know, instead they'll hang on to them for three to five years, sometimes ten years, depending on the species. But again, they're able to photosynthesize year round, so they have an advantage over other trees that aren't able to. Then on the other hand, you have deciduous trees like this big leaf maple here, which take an entirely different approach. Instead of spending all that time and energy creating really durable, waxy needles that stay on during the winter, they hunker down during the winter, store their energy so that when the spring comes and there's longer days, they can sprout these really big, cheap, energy efficient, paper-like leaves that are really flimsy, but they're really good at photosynthesizing during the summertime. So they can absorb a lot, um, create a lot of sugars, and make up for the fact that they can't photosynthesize during the winter time. Now, of course, nature's pretty wiggly and you don't always have things fitting into nice neat little boxes. So you have uh, broadleaf evergreen trees like arbutus which keep their leaves on year round and you have conifer trees like larches which lose their leaves in the fall. So it's less of a trait that can be easily generalized based on the classification of each tree but instead is an adaptive strategy that helps each tree survive in the environments that they thrive in. So what causes leaves to change color in the first place? Well, in the summertime, deciduous trees like this lovely little birch here create sugars through photosynthesis, which occurs in their leaves in cells known as chloroplasts, which contain pigment molecules known as chlorophyll. Now, there are many different pigment molecules in leaves, but chlorophyll tends to be the most dominant one, and it absorbs a wide spectrum of light except for green, which it reflects back, which is why we typically see leaves as green. Though there are some exceptions to species that have kind of reddish leaves due to high levels of anthocyanins, which actually prevent leaves from being sunburned. Now, in the fall, the the days get shorter, there's less daylight happening in general, so these trees actually stop photosynthesizing and they start to retract nutrients from their leaves to store them for the winter, chlorophyll being one of them because chlorophyll is highly valuable. So as the chlorophyll leaves these leaves, it starts to expose other pigment molecules such as keratins or xanthophyll which create these orangish hues. Then as these leaves continue to break down by fungus and whatnot, other chemical processes occur which adds to a, a rich kaleidoscope of colors that makes autumn even more beautiful. Pretty neat, huh? So as these leaves fall to the forest floor, they collect and become what's known as leaf litter, which plays a critical role in the health of these forest ecosystems. You see, in the fall it tends to rain more, and exposed bits of soil and dirt can easily be eroded or washed away by falling raindrops, but fresh leaf litter helps break up those raindrops and allows the water to seep into the soil slowly. Additionally, as all this collects, it actually helps retain moisture levels throughout the hottest, driest months of the year. As all this slowly breaks down, you know, being eaten by saprotrophic fungi and insects, it returns vital nutrients to the forest soils here, creating a rich humus that allows other insects to live, plant species to grow in, as well as saplings to little trees which, when they grow roots, um, form bonds with mycorrhizal fungi that collectively all hold the soils together and prevent further erosion. So not only do these fallen leaves create a profound level of beauty in our forest, but they help maintain their health well into the future. Wow. enjoying these videos feel free to keep on watching subscribe to my channel or help support their production by becoming a patron at the patreon page listed below we've got all sorts of sweet perks there as well as stickers and merch available at nerdyaboutnature.com because nature it's pretty neat you know the more you know about it the more fun you're going to have next time you're out there enjoying it